Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat, or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Piers. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and Little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. They seem happy, but Charles is already looking off into the future. His marriage just to stop along the way. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer?
Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? They had a fight. Why? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did someone escape the fire? Desperate attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, Detective, what do you make of it? Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. It would seem at least one person fled the crime scene. What'd you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshall, Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. So... Well... I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. 
Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What do you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. Honestly, you don't find that suspicious? That's troubling, I have to admit. But I trust Silas. And Dr. Fuller is an authoritative figure. The mainland folks are damned envious that he's here with us. A brilliant surgeon, and a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. So excuse me if I value his opinion over yours. So be it. Let's move on. I suspect this lamp caused the fire. That's what the investigation suggested, too. But does your report mention the bloodstains? The lamp didn't fall, it was thrown at someone. For heaven's sakes, no. The report doesn't mention that. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818.
could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked. The boy's room. Child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What was going through that boy's mind? What will her room reveal about her? Hmm. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment.
This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This door is locked. This door is locked. The door is blocked on the other side. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold.
It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Bradley? Is that you? 